Meantime, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, is celebrating four decades of advancing regional integration in the Eastern Caribbean region. As part of activities to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the original signing of the Treaty of Basté, the government of St. Lucia held its OECS flag raising ceremony. Jesse Leos reports. The government of St. Lucia reaffirms its support and firm commitment to OECS integration as the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States celebrates OECS Day Friday 18th June 2021. This year marks 40 years since the signing of the original Treaty of Bastère, which established the organization. The treaty was initially signed by seven member states, namely Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Monstrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Since then, four associate member states have joined the organization, namely Anguilla, the British Virgin Islands, Martinique and Guadeloupe. In St. Lucia, the Regional Integration Unit in the Office of the Prime Minister coordinates and harmonizes the efforts of all sectors in order to facilitate the function of single economic space within the OECS and CARICOM as mandated by their respective treaties. The unit joins in commemoration of the 40-year regional milestone by hosting the flag-raising ceremony on OECS Day. Government Minister responsible for External Affairs, Honorable Sarah Flood Bobra, pledges St. Lucia's continued devotion to the mandate of the Treaty of Bastyr. The socio-economic ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic and the ensuing struggle for vaccine procurement and equity bring into sharp focus the dangers of insularity and the power of regionalism. For four decades, the OECS has acted on the mandate to foster solidarity and facilitate the highest degree of integration possible among member states. As we celebrate OECS Day today, the government of St. Lucia reaffirms our support and firm commitment to OECS integration. Today we pay homage, we celebrate our boldness, and we celebrate our success. We hoist the OECS flag to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the OECS. The member states of the OECS are unified through joint policy and action in several key sectors, including external transportation and civil aviation management, facilitated by the Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority, external relations and overseas representation, achieved through joint representation in Brussels, Morocco, Geneva and Canada. Telecommunications, regulated by the Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority, currency and central banking through the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union and Central Bank, and the judiciary and administration of justice effected through the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. Chief Justice, Her Ladyship Honorable Dame Justice Janice Pereira, was on hand to deliver remarks at the flag-raising ceremony. As the third pillar of government, the judiciary of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court plays a critical role in ensuring that the social and economic fabric of those member states and territories spanning the court's jurisdiction remain protected through the rule of law. The protection of the law and equality before the law are fundamental to a well-ordered and civilized society. I have no doubt that the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court is wedded to its mandate of ensuring the observance of these precepts and will continue to support the continued growth and development of the region for many decades to come. As Chief Justice, I pray for the OECS's continued success in achieving its mandate. It cannot be overemphasized that the move towards greater integration of our region continues to present immense opportunities for growth and prosperity for the region. The flag-raising ceremony was held at the Graham Louise Administrative Building parking lot on the waterfront Castries on 18th June 2021. 
Other activities in St. Lucia to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the OECS establishment include OECS Colors Day, where the public is encouraged to dress in the OECS colors that is green, dark blue, yellow and white in an effort to engender the regional identity in citizens and to encourage persons to take part in the development of regional integration. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.